First of all, thanks to Expansive Worlds for giving us the chance to play Call of the Wild The Angler a few days before its official release. On this occasion, we're gonna focus on the gameplay and I'ma give you my first impressions after playing the game for like 8 hours. And also, we're gonna do our best to catch a big fish. Ok, so to start this adventure, we're gonna head over to the only reserve that is gonna be available at launch, which is the Golden Ridge Reserve. It has 12 fish species, and I gotta say it is absolutely beautiful. It actually reminds me to Silver Ridge Peaks on the Hunter of the Wild. And man, look at this scenario. I mean, the mountains, the trees, it really resembles Silver Ridge Peaks. It's beautiful. We are currently on this location on the map. As you can see, it's a huge reserve, full of fantastic locations for casting, but on this occasion, we're gonna start on this lake, where I'm gonna show you how the boats work. They are actually really easy to use, really easy to drive and also extremely useful to locate great spots for casting. So the only thing you need to do to drive a boat is to find a dock with a boat hire where you can easily ask for a boat. It's really simple. You choose the boat and you get the boat immediately. And well, my first impression after using a boat is that they are absolutely essential to have success on this game and especially because of one single thing, which is that in order to catch fish consistently, you actually need to find the fish, you actually need to spot the fish, and of course make sure to cast close to where you spot the fish. I mean, you need to actively look for the perfect fishing spot, mainly by looking for certain signs, like for example water splashes or fish jumping out of the water. And I mean, I'm still basically a noob on this game I've only played for, 8 hours, so there are a ton of things that I still don't know, but overall my first impression is that these signs are extremely important, because initially I was casting wherever there was water, in just random locations and sometimes I got lucky, but most of the times I didn't catch anything. Until I started paying attention to the water splashes, that is when I started catching a lot of fish, and overall I started having a lot of fun. I gotta say though that I only know one fishing technique, which is the float fishing technique. That is the only technique I know at the moment, and it's actually quite simple, pretty basic. I mean, casting is really simple, and it only requires a spinning rod, a spinning reel, a bait, a hook, and of course a float. At the moment I have like the most basic version of all these pieces of equipment, but eventually as we keep making cash we're gonna be able to buy stronger, higher capacity versions of all these pieces of equipment. Ok, we're gonna move slowly, because we are looking for splashing on the water. We gotta pay special attention to our surroundings. Right there. Now we know where to cast, and actually there seem to be multiple fish, so we found a good spot. That's fantastic. Ok, so we're gonna use the float fishing technique in the most basic way to cast. For that we need to hold the left mouse button, drag the mouse down, and then drag it up while releasing the left mouse button almost at the same time. It certainly requires a bit of timing, but it ain't hard to get used to it. Ok, let's get ready. A fish will bite at any moment. Right there. We press the right mouse button. And then left click to reel in. And quickly catch this juvenile golden trout. It is an absolute baby, it has the lowest metal. I mean, you have juvenile, then bronze, silver, gold, and diamond. We want a diamond, or at least a gold, I haven't gotten any. Alright, more splashing. It might be a big fish. You can also adjust the depth of the bait, which you will want to either increase or decrease depending on how deep the fish are. In this case, we're doing some basic easy fishing on the surface, so we're gonna keep the bait high. And also, since we're getting so close to a fish, we're gonna use another basic casting technique, which is the short cast. Right click, and that's it. Well, I wouldn't call that a big fish. But it's something. In a small golden trout. Another fish about to bite. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's strong. He's really pulling. Man, 
it doesn't look big, but it's really putting up a fight. We gotta hold with the right button and do our best to reel in because this line is about to break. We did it. It is a bronze. We probably need a stronger line and better rod if we actually want to catch a big fish and perhaps also a better reel. Oh, look at that. That is a huge golden trout. It might be a gold or even a diamond. Let's see. Okay. Whoa. It's really strong. Damn. I don't know. I don't think this line is strong enough. It's gonna snap. Yeah, I did my best, but this cheap line doesn't seem to be strong enough to catch a big fish. And actually, let's be honest, probably it was possible, but I'm bad. Although not for long, because I wanna get good on this game. And I want the diamonds. That's another fish. And also big. We gotta try again. Let's go. Come on. We need to hold. No. No. He's gone. We really need a stronger line. We finally have enough money to buy a stronger monofilament. So we're on the store. And first of all, we need to check what is the maximum line strength of the rod we have. Okay, we have this model and it says that it has a maximum line strength of 4 kilograms. So we need to buy a monofilament with 4 kilograms of strength. Right here, this one. We also need a better reel, but for the moment it should be enough to catch a big fish on the same location. Oh, I saw a trout. There he is. Come on. Okay, the good news is that the new line is not gonna break. Because as you can see on this case, the tension is nowhere near the limit. So the new line is working as expected, and now the only issue is the reel. It ain't having the strength and the power to pull this fish. Luckily he's getting tired, and now we can reel in. Nice. It seems to be a decent sized fish. Although not as big as the ones we failed to catch. It's a silver, again a golden trout, and man, that's a nice looking fish. They did a great job with the models. We are back on the spot where I was fishing at the start, and where I failed to catch the big boys. But now we're in a stronger line, and a more powerful rod. Look at that. That is a big trout. We definitely need to catch it. I'm sure it is at least a gold. Would be our first gold actually, but it's strong. His pulling hurt is really putting up a fight, and of course our cheap reel doesn't help. He's getting far. The line is gonna hold, that's good, but the reel is not having the strength to reel in. Our only option is to wait until he gets tired. Well, based on what I know. Now he's finally giving up, so it's time to pull him closer. It's almost here. And here we have it. It's a giant. Definitely a big boy. Which is... A gold. Our first ever gold. 3495 score. That might not be a huge gold, but it's certainly a big and beautiful fish. Is it me? Or that golden trout looks even bigger than the last one? I think it is. It might be the diamond. And gotta get ready for a fight. Oof. At least we can be sure that the lion won't snap. But it's gonna take time for him to give up. Okay, he's slowly getting tired. And we're pulling him closer. Slowly. But we can be sure that we're gonna have it in our hands soon. Let's see how big it is. It's a gold. And it's a big gold. 
4537 score, significantly bigger than the last one, in their new personal best. What a monster. Today we're gonna visit the best location I found to catch Golden Trout in Rainbow Trout, which is right here. The lake is loaded with fish, and I feel it is a great place to find a diamond, especially because here the water is really clear, so it's quite easy to spot any big fish. Right there. Big fish. We're gonna stop here right next to a fish, and we're gonna do a short cast. Let's get ready for a tough fight. I haven't upgraded my reel, so you know it's gonna take time to be able to pull it. Here we go. Finally, like 5 minutes later, he has given up. And I don't know, but I feel this guy might be more than a gold. I don't know, he looks massive. Let's see. Oof. That's a big fish. I don't know why it says new best rank though. Pretty sure we got one that was 4500 something, so this one is close but not as big. And now we actually have enough money to buy a better reel. The best one actually. In fact it is overkill for the rod we have, but since I'm also planning to buy the best rod in line soon, I think it's a good idea to buy this reel right now, even though we are not gonna have access to its full potential until we have a better rod. Ok, we're gonna test the new reel. As you can see there is a big golden trout, which is probably a cold and a perfect fish to test this thing. Ok. I just realized, we wasted so much time using the basic reel. We went from spending more than 5 minutes per fish, to just a few seconds. Oh, I can barely see. But I kinda see something huge. Oh, it's strong. Damn. It's actually too strong for the new line. But the new reel is fantastic. And we just got a huge fish. Which is a gold rainbow trout. Look at that. That is a huge fish. Perhaps not huge among the rainbow trouts, but it's massive compared to the golden trouts. What is that? Is that a golden trout or a shark? Oh my god. That has to be a diamond. It's a monster. Look at the size of that thing. It has to be. It has to be. It's a diamond. We got a diamond, our first diamond, 6017 diamond golden trout. We did it. Look at the size. An absolute monster. Wait. No way. Is that another diamond? Because it seems to have the size. I mean, it looks as big as the last one, and even though I don't wanna get my hopes up, we cannot deny that there is a high chance we're looking at another diamond. Let's figure that out. No way it's another diamond. Oh my god, on the same location but like 2 hours later. We have our second diamond, and now I cannot wait to find the other species, because this game is huge. There's a lot to explore, and many monsters to discover. 